like you created wind. Go cry me a table. <laughs> you got that from a Chantel. Excuse me? Chan- Chantel, the, that comic, that webcomic? No, I got it from a meme. Yeah, with the one where it's like, he doesn't know how properly... Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Really? Yeah. Huh. And we're back with the hey. second part of Don't Take It Out of Context. Welcome back know. to Don't Take It Out of Our Old Childhood Cartoons. All right, so uh, during the break, I was talking with uh, with Miguel and uh, Stephen about... This one cartoon. What about Rodolfo? I, Rodolfo wasn't here yeah, when I was like, me, when right? I brought, you weren't here when I brought it up. Yes, he was. was okay, bridge what was it? Up. All right, so <laughs> this is a cartoon that I vividly remember from uh, my childhood, like what I call the golden age of uh, Cartoon Network. It wasn't on for very long, but it had a really good concept, and it was called The Life and Times of Juniper Lee. Do you guys remember that? I remember Not that barely. show vaguely, but I, I never that, caught an episode. I just know the hentai video. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Ruined channel 34. Yeah. So, for, okay, for those who don't know, it's about this girl, this teenage girl who, her family, like her, it'll, she comes from a long line of people who are made to fight monsters that only she, can, that only they can see. Like, other humans cannot see these monsters, only this one person can. And they have to fight them and make sure they don't take over the earth. But, like, what was good about this was that it was supposed to be her father, but for some, but for some reason it skipped a generation, and she now has to like accept the responsibility. Oh, now I remember this show. Yeah, and she. Had I a, searched it up. Yeah, it's she, uh the Asian chick. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, anti- I video I saw. Yeah, yeah okay. and she had a talking <laughs> pug who was like her guide, and it was like really fun because like talking pug. Yeah, it was a talking. Yeah, she pug. had a talking pug. It was Gosh. American Jake Dragon. American. Oh That's my god! American it Dragon Jake Law. Yeah, American Dragon Jake. I remember watching the shit out. I hit it when they got the new art style, but yeah. at the same time, I liked it because the writing got better. I didn't. I don't watch Jake Law. Really? It's on Disney. No, it was, it, it was, uh, it was oh, about a. Why I didn't watch yeah. It. yeah, it was about a. If it wasn't Kim Possible on Disney, I wasn't watching it. Oh, Kim Possible. That's another. That's a whole. Let me episode. get my nacho. That's a whole that's a, episode that's right a whole there. Can of worms. No, Let me get my nacho burrito. No, stop, stop, stop. Fuck you. Wait, why? So go on with your fucking Asian girl. I know that was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it, was, it was like it was as I it was as I feared. Like you guys would not know what I'm talking about. Because yeah, it's usually like a, did, when did if I see an image or something. Yeah, I'll remember, remember it. Only really ran for like two years, but it was around that same generation as uh, Chowder. Uh, <gasps> I love really? Chowder. Yeah, Wait, it was around I, that same time. I remember. I, I remember. Then it when did the show come on? I never saw it. It was yeah. like it was towards the last years of when. Car- Cartoon, Cartoon Network, Network before it made the switch to like live action. That's why. Yeah. Ch- I fucking love Chowder. Uh, oh here's my a, god, Here's another Chowder. thing that was a big part of uh, my childhood when it comes to Cartoon Network was uh, Fridays. Friday, Fridays. like the big block program of Friday. Oh that yeah. That was when they would release all the new episodes for shows and they would have it to where, hey, it's like a party with all of your Cartoon Network uh, character. Yeah, and they would have like little nice skits if, where if like car- Mojo Jojo's DJing and, and were, everyone else is dancing. Isn't that when they're in the theater also? Like all the that's older when, characters? Like that's, 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 that's when they like get ready for like a, a Cartoon movie. Network movie yeah. like, and they all like sit in like uh, in like, like the theater. I, I love the too. I love the skits when they cut to commercial where like uh, someone can't see because a coup is right in front of him mm-hmm. and he's super tall. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if modern cartoons do that? They actually air like a normal show? What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, have you looked at the schedule for modern Cartoon Network shows now? All I see is Teen Titans Go. That's exactly exactly. It. It's just one show over and over again, and then occasionally Steven Universe regular show reruns. That's or like not- the Wee Bear Bears. They're like straight on for like an hour to yeah. play. Dude. It's like what the fuck? Which, look, if it's Wee Bear Bears, fine. I like that show. That show's <laughs> nice. Dude, remember uh, the fair, uh, the Foster Home for Imaginary Friends movie where Wilt tries to find his uh, yeah. his Owner. creator, creator yeah. and it's basically Michael Jordan. Yeah, and it's like he the reason why he wants to find him because he feels lonely because he feels he never did his creator proud because he lost that basketball game and that's why he has oh. the cut off arm and the broken eye. I mean, look, Redman can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is. Back to the Marvel cartoons. I fucking hate how Marvel cartoons are these days in terms of like scheduling. Like I texted to Colin just I hate I love and hate being a Steven Universe fan. It's the fucking worst because it's always this. You're gonna get some filler episodes. Then in like what they call the Steven Bomb, important story so episodes. It, so basically you're getting a block of programming 
Then it goes off for a while, then it comes back with new episodes. That's how every show works, and I don't get your problem with that. But the hiatus, it's, it's so long. It's not it's even not normal. Really, when you're when like the last hiatus that we came out of, I was like, wow, this was not that long. I didn't feel that long at all. But meanwhile, you were just like fucking forever. Like, no, yes. it really wasn't. Like, remember when cartoons you would have a new episode every Friday? I did, and that was what made Friday so good was because... Yeah. Especially because it's a Friday, too. There were no... Yeah, you were done with school. Yeah, but yeah, no there was no yeah. fucking hiatuses. There were there were hiatuses. There's yes, always but there, hiatuses. It wasn't there. that but, very but noticeable. But here's the thing. Back then, there was a lot more to watch. Yeah. And to lot. keep your attention. Nowadays, it's just like the same thing. Not as much shows. Yeah. You know and, I mean? and in many cases, it is literally the same thing. All but it's just di- it's just not that many shows. So wait, really? Games. Teen Titans Go is like the only thing that yes. plays yeah. so much? Yes. Oh. So like, go on the guide for Cartoon Network. No joke. Teen Titans Go, go like, goes on for as long as 14 hours. You, you think Powerpuff Girls, the reboot, will replace that later? Probably mm. yes, mm. unfortunately. I don't care what anybody says... I think the the Powerpuff Girls reboot is the most horrible thing I, okay, I've ever seen. I would much rather watch the Powerpuff Girls reboot than Teen Titans Go. Because here, here's my point. Do you know about the self insert character? The yeah, what? I do. There's a self insert character of an animator whose sole purpose is to go on a date with Blossom, and it gets like kind of weirdly sexual. Wait, what? And ble- yeah. Okay, here's How my old thing. is the guy? The like the kid the. The character. The, the character in the show is like a kid, just like like Blossom, mm-hmm. but it's all based around like the personal interest of the one of the animators. What the? Fuck? Yeah, and okay, it gets. But here's but see that feeds into the reason why I would watch it more than Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go is a type of bad to where like there's nothing interesting here. It's like, also basically kind of like just, stupid. It's just stupid. stupid it's just not well thought out. But with. The I remember Power when you Bo- told me about the episode where Slade returns. Oh, yeah. They advertise, oh, yeah, Slade's going to be in this episode. What? He's shown in a picture, and the rest of it is just like... Dumb fart jokes? No, it's worse than that. Well, I mean, what it is, they build this episode as Slade's going to come back. Hey, guys, remember when this show was good and we had the villain Slade, who was awesome? Yeah, I remember that. Well, he's going to be on the show. Okay, cool. I'll watch it. He doesn't show up. He shows up in a picture. That's it. The rest of the episode is dealt with them being like, man, fuck all that old shit. That like those old shows that were for kids. What about this new stuff? It's even much better. Fuck off, show. I kind of like when they broke the fourth wall. Where like, dude, that oh, with, was with us. the uh, with control freak. Yeah, it's like, yeah, dude, like, that we, used to be us. Yeah, that was Teen Titans. Like, that was when Teen Titans was like for. Actual kids, not dead babies. Honestly, that episode pissed me off. And I think it pissed me off more than the Powerpuff Girls reboots, whole, like, unexcusable animation errors. But see, Powerpuff Girls is an interesting type of bad to where you look at it and you're like, wow, I, this is like a Trevor and I can't look away. But with like, I wonder team, what Craig McCracken thinks about this. I bet, I, I, I will take a wild guess and I'm pretty sure I'm right. I bet he's dead inside. I think, I, I don't think he's dead inside. I think just like, Fuck, like what happened? Was His last reason? show was uh, Wonder Over Yonder and that ended already. Oh, that ended? Yeah, yeah. it wasn't getting enough ratings. Oh man. Wait, well, at like, least now I can watch it. But see, no, that's the fucked up part about this whole Teen Titans Go nonsense. People are watching, will want to watch these shows. The problem is they're not given airtime. Everything goes to Teen Titans Go. It's the, falling into the SpongeBob thing, like in Nickelodeon. But here's the thing about the Nickelodeon thing, SpongeBob. Nickelodeon went on this horrible trend of approving shows that should have never been approved, that could not sustain a fan base. And what eventually happened was SpongeBob was the only thing that people were watching because all the other shows suck, except for Avatar. Avatar was the one. Avatar's pretty good. Avatar and Legend of Korra are Never great. seen him. I, I haven't seen... i just seen the Rule 34 of it. I've never seen oh, Legend of, of Korra. So. I've only seen a few episodes. Every cartoon that you haven't seen was the seen the porn of it. All right. But like... <laughs> One but, show... Uh, but with Nickelodeon, that was more out of necessity because... I mean, you guys don't really remember this, but, like, Fairly Odd Parents was, like, still starting along at a point, but Spun was the only thing that people were, like, coming to Nickelodeon yeah. for mm-hmm. because, literally, there was a point where every show they did was a failure, and they passed up Adventure Time, which bit them in the ass hard. Didn't... Do you remember when Amy Poehler got a cartoon where she was a Girl Scout? No, I don't. 
Actually, I think on Nickelodeon. Yes. I think I know what you're talking about. I think that's the Mighty Bee. Yeah, that was, that's Amy. Yeah, the Mighty, the Mighty Bee. Bee with Amy Pol- uh, Amy Pullman, right? Yeah, Amy, yeah. Amy Polar. Polar. Yeah. So what the Mighty Bee was? It was this Girl Scout in the Bee Scouts, and the whole premise of the episode was that sounds like a bad version show. of Camp Lazlo. Like her whole her whole skit was that she wanted to get every badge every badge ever in in the, in the bee scouts and she went on all these crazy adventures just here's to get a, them see here's a here's like a way like it's all about framing when it comes to a show like that and why i don't think the bee that show was successful was because oh i know what you're talking about yeah the mighty bee yeah it, the reason why i don't think that show was successful mm. was because the frame is just like Usually that character is the villain, like the overachiever who tries to like Mm -hmm. get in the way of like the cool, relaxed guy, like person. Like Camp Laszlo, that was Edward, the platypus. Oh, Edward, the platypus. What, Squidward? He basically kind of was Squidward. He sounded like Squidward a lot. But like, oh, Laszlo. Okay, so... You're not Edward, I'm Edward. <laughs> <laughs> but, like... This is one episode I remember. Remember like, the kangaroo that wanted to fuck Laszlo? Oh, yeah. No, that was a... That was a... Wallaby? Kangaroo. Yeah, on the, on the girl side. Yeah. Oh, it was a kangaroo, was it? Yeah. Oh, shit. You know, we talked last episode about Ed and Eddie, but... I think there's like a common theme with like Cartoon Network shows where it's like threes, like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. You had Camp Laszlo, you had Laszlo, the elephant, and Clem. Yeah, it was Raj. Raj, Raj you Raj. racist. I, never... <laughs> I mean, look the show at this went... package I got from my parents. <laughs> it's a nice ant farm. <laughs> Time. Or like Time Squad, like Time Squad. Time Squad. It was it was like uh, you and Buck Tud Russell. It was like a little kid, a robot, and this super big like space guy, and they go Is on that adventures. The soldier, the soldier meme. Yes, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, I never watched about. that. It was, I, it wasn't on for very long. I actually like that. So I like. I loved it. No wonder then I haven't seen it. What other good? Sh- what other like super old shows like that were there? Like well, that Time was an old, School? was it? I mean, it was like, very. It was, it was like it was like it was kind of like early. That was in two thousand three. Two thousand three. Yeah. Like, Time Squad. Super. Yeah, you'd recognize it. Mark Hamill is. Uh, That's the thing. I never seen that show. Robot. I I knew that voice was. I never seen that show. It's weird because. Have you seen Rule Thirty Four of that shit? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Buck Tuggles' love interest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this will come... Or like, like Helen, Foster Home for Imaginary Friends, uh, Wilt, Eduardo, and Coco. And then yeah, Blue, yeah, and then Mac. But like, oh. Mac and Blue are kind of their what own What was thing. that, that, that uh, show with the... Ro- not, not the robot girl, but the robot boy... Uh, Robot, Boy. Robot Boy. Robot Boy. Ro- yeah, Robot I remember Boy. Ro- hey, basically the- American Astro Boy. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, hey, what's the this show is like with the Robot Boy? On. Robot Boy. This is like probably when you fell off. Because th- I think this was around the time that they were trying to bring back the the animations with the live action. And it didn't really work. Okay. You know what I remember? Symbiotic Titan. That's that a, sh- that's that a show a- everyone talked Symbiotic about. I just never Titan? seen it. Symbiotic Titan. It was like... That was Gindy Tartakovsky from Samurai Jack fame and... Uh, it was a good show. It was a very entertaining show, but that was actually a thing where like no one really was watching. But again, they had driven so many viewers away after they brought in like Out of Jimmy's Head or oh. the numerous game shows. Uh, dude, hole what in the would wall. Happen? Oh, I hated oh, dude. What would happen? What you would happen if you put a pizza yeah, launcher on a stupid. bicycle? Okay. Dude. Uh, this was around the time that they were bringing back the like fifteen minute shorts of like. Cartoon Network shows to see that they would sell. And I think a lot of people hated this show because it was just kind of like it had no point. But like design wise, I loved it. It was uh, I think it was Megadeth Robot School where like the whole point of the show was that these robots had to fight their way to survive going to school. And like what? the whole purpose of the show was like, I think that turned into a show. Actually, it was one of the uh, one of the teachers was voiced by um, Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> he was like, "Today your assignment is to die. If if you if you don't die by next class, you're getting that." You know what's funny? That voice actor Master Shake. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't start with him knowing him from Aqua Teen. I started knowing him from Code Monkeys. <laughs> Oh, I remember Co- Monkey. Wait, wait, we, we skipped a major part of the lineup. Of what? Of Card Network lineup. Yeah. What? Billy and Mandy. Well, yeah, Billy we love Mandy. Billy and Mandy. Billy, like, Billy and Mandy was a show, like, I said this about Courage the Cowardly Dog, 
and it's still true about Curse of the Kelly Dog, but in many ways it's sort of doubled with Billy and Mandy. How did this show get put on air? It's so weird. It's so dark. <sighs> it is I, Evil Concarne. Th- see, that was it. I think it started off with two shows. Yeah, because they two were parts. they slipped it in through the more like equally weird, but at least more conventional like Evil Concarne. Yeah. People don't remember that before 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 uh, Billy and Mandy got its own show. It was actually like. It was it was doubled. It was basically paired with Evil Concarne yeah. shorts, but the Billy and Mandy shorts became more popular. Which is a shame because I did like Evil Concarne. I did too, and then eventually. Doctor Gasly. Doctor mm. Gasly. <laughs> Make sure you feed Tommy. But that's I'm a, so hungry. But that's the thing. Eventually, <laughs> like eventually, they gave Evil Concarne a shot, and it didn't work out. It didn't work. It didn't work out. They tried their best, but it just like. But it, but they're like you know what we still love General Scar. Let's just move him to Billy and Mandy, and he moved in literally next. I mean, to- Everyone made at least like at least one appearance in Billy and Mandy. I think there was one episode where it was just totally dedicated to them. Dude, yeah, because in a car, it, like, it used to be called Grim and Evil. Yes, Grim and Grim Evil. Yeah. Grim and Evil, and then Billy and Mandy became so popular. It's like, well, we gotta yeah, give it its own show. Long. And then that show lasted. Whew. I, f- I fucking Billy love and, it. I mean, B- Ed and Eddie is the longest running Cartoon Network series ever. I would, I would. I would be fine with betting that Billy Mandy is not far behind. That show lasts a long time. Dude, like... And dude. they tried to have, like, a sequel show to it, uh, Under Fist, which... Under Fist? It was a, it was a movie. It, it was a... That was a backdoor pilot. Oh, that they was, had a series? Wait, what was Under they, Fist about? Under Fist was, was, like... Fred Fred Berger, Hostel Gatto... Jeff Irwin, the Spider, and Jeff Irwin... Jeff the Spider, and General Scar. General Scar. As, like... The as like the Avengers of that. That's universe. not gonna work. I, I, like, it's funny you're telling me this. I'm already like, this is not gonna work. I remember what I remember. Is this movie was great. The movie was great, but the, the series was, was really not. fun. But like, it just it just didn't take. Yeah, reminded me of the Avengers was the uh, the the squad from um, Dexter's Laboratory. The <gasps> oh, Ch- Major Kronk Glory and Valhalla yeah. and the Kronk. Love but like, I fucking love that. But like, um, Kronk got a. a t- t- Tortilla chip stuck in my oh tooth. Oh my god! All that. right, <laughs> let me use the power of base to get it out. The power of my axe. The, the thing about Major Billy Glory. and Mandy is that's a cartoon. I feel like I don't think that ever went on hiatus. I feel like there's so many episodes of that cartoon. Dexter's Laboratory went on a brief hiatus because we're they, talking about oh, Billy and Mandy. Oh, Billy, Billy and Mandy went on a kind of hiatus, like a very short hiatus, because they, I believe they got new people in on the animation because you can tell there's a marked difference between yeah. Them. Like, you can tell, like, from episode to episode, there's a difference in animation staff. But, uh... Costa Gog, though. <laughs> you put grape soda all over my shirt. Looks like I have to fight naked. Dude, my favorite episode is the, is the when Hosta Gog gets uh, introduced, and, like, he's gonna kill Grimm, and Grimm's happy about it. Like, please, <laughs> Yes, <thank> kill me. <laughs> Wait. And then it, like, zooms in on his brain. It's a little, like, like mouse on the wheel. It's like... If I kill you, you'll be happy, and I don't want that. You'll live forever. <laughs> no. <laughs> Again, me and Miguel talked about this. My favorite jokes is like, oh, the name, the, the soda. <laughs> hey, Mister, do you want the soda? Oh, that, that's the wait. Same. That's not that generic kind. No, it's name brand. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the sweetest thing me. everyone's ever done for me. <laughs> Remember the episode where Billy and his dad go to like a kiss like concert and the dad like tries to fly and then he fucking just falls. <laughs> and he's like, you must carry it on, remember, son. Remember they were doing, I think like a derby race and it was the kid uh, with a fucking paper. paper. Oh or, yeah, he's the one who won because he's yeah. like sitting in a cart out of nowhere Wait, on like the highway. Like, fucking up. Like he's like going no, down here. Like, he's like so slow. Exactly. But no, I, I could have felt like he... He ate shit like eat, like through a cat or something. Yeah, he so won. No, so but I think the joke was like everyone has like these souped up cars. They speed up. He's like in a go kart. Like, but he was just like that. that kind I, of think, face, I think what it was that he was sitting so like doing nothing. I think someone bumped into him and it made him move super fast and he got to the finish line. By the way, we're talking about like so when, we, when it came to courage, we talked about the darkest episodes. We got to bring up the Wish episode for Billy and Mandy. Oh, me and Steven were talking about that. It was... Remind me. It was, it was the, like... The Skull one where each character... Even got the its own wish. Get a wish. Not that dark. The, what? the bunny episode? The bunny thing? Okay. Wait, That's the like witch. The, witch. Like the wish was one like one when... when Fucking they... Mindy gets tur- explodes and turns into a star? 
There's a, so what it is is that like General Scar gets I, he, let him let me go sorry talk. Go on. it's okay Stephen I know you I know you love this I'll but it's say, like I'll say what the darkest episode is uh, after but um what it is is that like Billy like everyone just finds a magic skull from like Grimm's trunk and it grants you a wish but it has like terrible consequences it's the monkey's it, paw yeah it's the monkey's paw and one of the darkest one is is pudding because I fucking hated that kid because pudding's wishes. I wish I had someone to love. And so the skull gives him a rabbit. But as soon as he pulls away, the rabbit wants to kill Pudding because he doesn't want to be loved anymore. And it gets to a point where the rabbit throws like Pudding underneath the truck. And Pudding gets run over. And he's like being put. Much darker than describing, but it's like funnier in practice. (laughs) But like he's being holed up in a in a in an ambulance, and the guy's like, kid, are you alright? Yeah. I'm fine as long as I don't have to see that rabbit. And here comes the rabbit driving a semi truck, <laughs> getting ready to ram into like it's the, the ambulance. To the animated movie, like Bison, like driving a pickup truck. And I think like at the end he dies because like Pudding's just like crying, and the like the semi truck runs into the ambulance. It blows up, <laughs> and the only thing that survives is the rabbit, and I think Pudding's hand. And then the the skull rolls off to like Billy's dad. <laughs> no, here's the darkest. I think the darkest episode is, uh, Mandy like wants to play a game with like Irwin and Billy. They don't let her because she's a girl. So he goes over to a neighbor's house and it's this old spinster woman, and she sees like all these trophies and like yeah I like try to make it. Uh, I try to win everything that I do. Like I try to. Be, I'm a freshman. I try to win everything I do. It's like oh. You hang out with Grimm? Like, the old lady says to Mandy, like, you hang out with him? Yeah, he always tried to beat me. And he, he always tried to, like, give me it, but I was always one step ahead of him. Then, like, she turns, like, she, she goes to walk away. She's not there. Like, the, like, this lady has been cheating death so long that she's, like, not really even human anymore. That's the dark side, because it's so subtle and so... In the in the back, this the skull episode is just like darkly humorous. I never saw that I, episode you're talking. It about. It didn't sound that dark. Remember the no, episode like it, with I the. I don't do it just, but it's like very subdued and it builds and builds. And for you, me, what was kind of fucked up was like when uh, I think uh, Billy got turned to the size of like the toys, the f- friendship. Oh yeah, yeah and. and was it, I think, uh, the little fucking kid, the, the one. Puddin. Puddin. Wasn't he, like, burning their, like, melting oh, their he faces he was melting up? the army man, and they were, like, screaming in pain, like, God help me. <laughs> and if I like, survive this, put me out. And it's, like, full-on <laughs> friendship. And they were just trying to run away, but then he's, like, playing with them and burning off. He's like, he's like burning them off. It's like he's like chewing on them, putting them on like like pull, and like high like chairs and feeding them. The tr- exactly like the kind of tricycle. The, the tricycle. tricycle. The, tr- the, the haunted the tricycle. tricycle. It, it's the it's the Stephen King story, Christine, but with a tricycle who brutally assaults people. Like <laughs> when the tricycle is fighting Grim, his bones are shooting and they're broken. Like oh my god. Do um do you remember like. The, very old episode, but when fucking Billy makes his own Mandy because Mandy goes away. That episode, like, I was terrified of that show and that episode as a kid. I still get, like, skeeved out Man- when I think about it. Billy, wanna play? And then fucking Mandy <laughs> comes back and she just destroys it immediately. I rem- remember the episode where Billy Grimm got gets the... Gr- um, Grim gets a girlfriend. I remember the Grim gets a girlfriend, but the one I was talking about was when Billy gets the er- uh, the ca- apple of chaos, and he summons Eris. Any and the episode with Eris is amazing. The only thing he wished was, like, I want to watch paint dry. What? I want to watch paint drop. And he sits there and she's like waiting because he, she needs, he needs to finish the witch. She's like, are you done? No, hold on. He <laughs> bites the apple. I want to ride you like a horse while I'm <laughs> watching paint dry. <laughs> and he like, he like shoves like a, like a stick in her mouth and starts riding her and whipping her. He's like, faster, faster. I want to watch the paint dry. Oh my God. That's and she funny. like starts crying. She's like, I don't care. You could wish for whatever. Just finish the apple. I want to go home. Or, uh, Eris has my favorite line in the whole show, and it's, uh, she turns into a giant praying mantis and eats Hostel Gato because they were, like, dating at the time. Remember, kids, when a praying mantis eats her mate, it's because she loves him. When I do, it's because I'm crazy. <laughs> Dude, uh, remember the episode where Manny gets a crush on a kid? 
Oh, and he's like, does she like? She like, like breaks him. <laughs> like, yeah, like she like. And she, the, the episode starts with like Manny like doing one of those weird like speeches she does. I seem to remember this episode starts with this line. It's called a crush. Because someone always gets hurt. And then a foot just crushes her. It, no, it's the thing where, like, he's holding the flowers. Like, will you go out with me? It's like, the thing about crushes is that it always hurts. And a single flower petal falls off, lands underneath her foot, and she crushes it. And he has a <laughs> heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> because that's Mandy, the thing. Mandy was awesome. She can't get his attention, but she, she pulls, I guess, what, a grease? Yeah, she pulls a grease, but, like, it's a complete subversion because she doesn't care anymore. No, like... Or she never cared. She doesn't. She doesn't like want him because, like, out of desire. She wants him because she's the one person that he because he's the one person that can that affect she, her like that. Yeah. So she wants to destroy him. Mandy was awesome. I remember the um, like, like honestly, man, like Mandy's really attractive, and that's a weird thing to say, but like personality she, wise, yeah, personality. She's amazingly attractive. Fuck, I was I forgot what I was gonna say. It was one of the other episodes, but um. Uh, speaking of, uh, I remember the, um, shit, I'm blanking out on it now, but someone else talk. Um, one of my, another favorite episodes is anything involving Nurgle. He was one of my favorite characters. Great and voice. Great yeah. Voice not only that, him. but he gets a son and the son episode where it turns into a horror movie. Was oh, where they're at episodes. the camp? When they're at the camp. Yes. It wasn't the kid. The kids, it was like Nurgle Jr. Right? Nurgle, Nurgle Jr. Jr. Wasn't the whole thing that like Nurgle was such a loser that he had to be at the center of the earth? Yeah. Mm. Like he was, so, he was like, you're so like self-centered that you can't even understand how horrible of a person you are. You deserve to be at the center of the earth. And so he moves to the center of the earth mm-hmm. <laughs> with a uh, Billy's uh, aunt. Oh yeah. And then they make mm. Nurgle Jr. Aunt Susan or something. Aunt Susan. But I finally remembered Remember the Nigel Planter episodes with oh, Lord yeah. Moldybutt? Oh, the Harry Potter Yeah, the Harry episode. Potter with... Uh, and Dean Toadblatt? T- Dean Toadblatt, where they couldn't say Lord Moldybutt. Because every time they say Lord Moldybutt, something bad happens to Lord Moldybutt. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never say the last of me. Me, Lord Moldybutt. And then he, like, oh. falls off into the <laughs> he's ocean. Like, he's, like, back break. Oh. <laughs> he, like, falls into the ocean and then catches on fire. <laughs> now, since we're talking about Billy Mandy... One of the rare times I like a TV cartoon movie was the uh, Boogie Adventure. I fucking love that movie. Wasn't Boogie it, Adventure. Wasn't it with the Boogeyman. Oh, okay. I wasn't okay. a big fan of that one. I was a big fan of the Halloween one with Jack O'Lantern. That is one of my oh, favorite episodes of all time. Jack just O'Lantern. Like, just like vision, visionary wise and like just the character of Jack himself. Come on, Billy. The voice. Let's turn all these pumpkins to life. We can all go trick or treating together. <laughs> now where was I? Grim's like about to get his head cut. I didn't even go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right. Decapitation. <laughs> or um, early uh, an, an early episode I really loved as a kid, just because it was like a musical, was the one where the alien brain comes on Earth and then it's starting to suck people, and then it gets Billy to do his bidding for him. Brains, brains, and then and then it eats Manny's brains like. Yes, it was too. I was too powerful for it. <laughs> well, Mandy, can I like do anything for you? Yes, get me brains. Mm-hmm. Fucking, I love Mandy. Or, uh, another musical episode is Keeper of the Reaper. And that's- oh, the the courtroom to see who keeps Grim because Billy's moving. Oh, yeah. I need to go. Poo poo. That was <laughs> Fred Fred Burger. That, that's Fred Fred Burger's first appearance. I love the uh, jury selection. <laughs> Shut game. up. F R E D F R E D B U R G E R. Fred Fred Burger, yes. Hey, when do we get the donuts? There's no donuts. <laughs> well, how about the uh, nachos? There's no nachos either. Hey, you tell the guy to be quiet. <laughs> Or like oh, later, I like no on the same episode. Is that where um, the fucking Billy son comes in? Oh, and like, I don't want to talk to you. Just <laughs> tell me what you want, Dad. I'll be whatever I you want, want you to, to be, be dead. dead. <laughs> God, I forgot about Jeff. The spider. There's a spider in my house. All right, I'll go get it. Oh, big spider! Better get my boot. <laughs> Whoa, bigger than I thought. I'll need my 
Bigger Bo. <laughs> Why is Billy's dad so like Morgan Freeman? No, it's not. No, it's it's, it's like the Sturman. exterminator. It's a, a cowboy. Cow- exter- <gasps> a cowboy. Speaking of cowboy, remember the Tooth Fairy episode where it all took place in a Western? I don't actually. It no. was like Billy loses his teeth and this old man tells him about the Tooth Fairy. But the origins of the Tooth Fairy was that he, uh, the Tooth Fairy was a sheriff back in the old day who was challenged by like the Grim Reaper. And then it's like... He's like, wow, that's real cool. I'm going to go home now. And then the the old guy takes the teeth. He's like, yes, I grow in power. <laughs> and he turns out he's the tooth fairy and he slides back into the sewer. And he like leaves out like a stick for other people to trip out and lose their teeth. <laughs> what am I, again, like Billy Mandy, another good special was the... Was the Christmas special with uh, Vampire Geoffrey, Santa, voiced by Jeffrey oh, Goffrey? Oh uh, my Goffrey. God! Yeah. Yes, it is I, Santa. But it's funny we talk about the specials. I mean, the one I don't. <laughs> oh my God! The one I don't remember at all is there was a Spider Woman special. Spider-Woman. I remember the Spider Woman. It's where uh, there's an there egg. Was a lot of specials. It was where. It was supposedly like Grimm's fiance at one point. I, I think d- that's the thing. And, I don't remember. The and so there was like a spider egg in the school, and it hatched, and it released the spider queen, and the whole school got took over by spiders. I can't remember that. Oh Isn't that where he gets Jeff from? No, no Jeff, Jeff the, is like a totally early that. on. But like it whole the the reason that the the spider queen is like taking over school is because she knows Grimm's there, and their deal was that like she was supposed to marry him so she can eat his brain. And then, you know, take over his powers. Uh, one one thing I was saying about because it was very funny was, um, I think it was in the last episode they did, which, with, which was the Boogeyman. And it was, uh, they see, everyone sees their deepest, darkest fears. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And Billy is, is a, a clown spider mailman. <laughs> um, and then... Uh, Mandy is, is she's fat, she's happy, and she's married to Irwin. Yeah, and Irwin's like buff, like <laughs> basically. Yeah, no, wasn't there a family member that lived down there, like somewhere in hell or something? It's like a happy, like it's like a little small. Oh little yeah, island. it was. I see my grandpa's house from here. Something like that. Oh, Something like that. yeah, that was Billy. He was like, yeah. "Hey, I can Hi, see my Billy. grandpa from here." Hi, Billy. Now Hi, I'm Billy. sad. <laughs> no, but like, uh, I remember the ending where it was. I think it was Grim that took the gauntlet and like. He like put it on and the boogeyman was like, yes, I want you to die from your deepest fears and nothing happened. And he's like, what's going on? You're supposed to die. I was supposed to win. Don't you understand? <laughs> I live with my <laughs> deepest, darkest fears <laughs> for like two seasons. <laughs> Wait, then, he says two seasons? I think like, he, 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 he tells more, what's going on. so much more than two seasons. Yeah, but he like tells like, I've been going, I've, I've been through like three series with these guys. They're my deepest, darkest fears. <laughs> you lose. Uh, that was one funny thing about uh, one thing I, re- I finally noticed about Grim when I was thinking about it was Grim's Jamaican. Yes. Yeah. But his father is Kurtwood Smith from that '70s show. <laughs> <laughs> like, Grim, get over here! I'm gonna put a boot in your ass. I don't remember. I don't Grim remember his dad. dad. His dad was like very neglectful. He was like, "Daddy, I'm the Reaper now." He like he got his sign in his cloak, <laughs> and his dad was like, "Yeah, that's good. Go over there." Go a little bit more. Are, <laughs> more. And we like keep him back, you know, like all happy. But we like, just didn't want anything to do with him. <laughs> I remember the uh, the Halloween special with Underfist where that explains uh, Hostel Gato's origin where he was haunted by the Easter Bunny and now that's why he hunts mystical creatures. <laughs> uh, Dude, remember the hot chick from Evil Concarne? The, the Gladys? Ghastly. Yeah. Oh, G- Ghastly. I thought it was Gladys. The, like, the moment in the black yeah. skin. Yeah. yeah she uh, apparently, like, this one that I always remembered, and it stuck with me as weird even back then, was the, uh, who's the Hector Concarne? Is Hec- that his name? Hector Concarne. Yeah. Hector Concarne and Dr. Gastly's son comes back from the, comes to, to the past from the future. Yeah. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Did she fuck the bear or the, like, brain? <laughs> moment... Or like, did he get his body back? I don't know. I think he got his body back. Yeah, something like that. Because if he would have fucked a bear, it wouldn't have... It, it would have come out like a fucking bear. A hybrid. Like a, that would have been hybrid. hilarious no. if the sun is a bear. No. It's a hybrid. Well, that's the thing. Billy Mandy was so weird. It did so many weird shit that, that could have happened. Well, I don't want that. What else was like <laughs> a super weird cartoon now that you think about it? No. I wonder what else were there. Uh, this wasn't necessarily a weird show, but its premise was very out there. Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. I love that was Foster. a very out there 
concept. Everyone knows this show, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, everyone kind of knows Billy and Mandy, don't they? I, I yeah. love the 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 pilot, like one hour special of Fosters, where they introduce Blue and all the characters, and then Mac misses that one day, and a bratty little girl almost adopted Blue. And then they, that's, I love the, near the end where Duchess and, uh, Francis are going through the Pac-Man with the, with the mm-hmm. teenager imaginary friend. That's basically Pac-Man. <laughs> and it's so funny that now looking back at it, Francis was voiced by Tara Strong. Yeah. Tara Strong voiced a lot. Come back. I just want to hit you. <laughs> I'm surprised. Like, no, I don't like think she was Duchess voiced by Tara went Strong. That I think she was voiced by Gray DeSilly. Who was, was Mandy it? from from Billy and Mandy? No, it, uh, Tara Strong was Francis. No, Great Great Silly was Duchess. Yeah, I believe. Duchess. One of my favorite episodes of uh, Fosters was the uh, the it, it's it's the one where uh, the party and fucking Mac, oh, Mac goes crazy with the candy. <laughs> I love the scene where they're like <laughs> the responsible one. They like have to put a blanket on him because he's naked in the alleyway and he's like freaking <laughs> out. He's like he's like he's tweaking out. He's like eating gum to like calm him down to. Sugar free! Sugar free! (laughs) We did it for your own good, Mac. (laughs) (laughs) Or, uh, like, Miss, or like, someone, like, it's it's not Mr. Harriman, but like, it's Frankie and Mrs. Foster, like, the bus outside, but like, Blue and the other people are in a car right next to them, trying to get back to the house to clean everything up. Frankie's like driving, looks over, sees Blue and the other people, does a double take, and then like, Mr. Harriman's in drag and Blue's like in the Orlando <laughs> Blue outfit. <laughs> my, by the way, Orlando Blue, one of the funniest things I've i seen in my childhood. Another favorite hey, Frankie, it is I, Orlando <laughs> Blue. Orlando Blue. Uh, one of my favorite episodes of Fosters was uh was the mall episode. I really love that mall episode. I, I was just about the to bring that up. That's the it's where episode. it's where they go to the mall to get uh Madame Foster a gift, but then Coco decides to be a security guard and blues <laughs> blues kicking people in the shin and everyone's getting lost. And Frankie's like robbed people by kicking people in the shins and then running off the thing. <laughs> but I, then, lo- I love this. Scene where uh, where Frankie goes up to security, he's like, "Hey, security, I need to find some kids." Coco, Coco, what are you doing here? You don't work here. Coco, Coco, what do you mean you're gonna turn me in? I did nothing wrong. I'm here to find kids. Coco, no, you're not gonna arrest me. I'll find him myself. Dude, remember when you you learned Coco's not an imaginary friend? Oh yeah, she's just an animal in the wild. They found her. The two nerds found her somewhere. Yeah, it, it would be so dark. But if how they were is all like how is she not an imaginary friend? Because uh, they explain in the Wilts movie that when they're like, oh, all the old creators came back. It's two nerdy guys. Like, here's the they're thing. They're not her creator. They just found her. They found we her. went into the deep of the Amazon jungle and we found this majestic creature. Although, and she was just in a but, nest laying eggs. But the thing is, like, the, the, the eggs, that, she yeah, can the lay eggs. eggs. Are plastic. Yeah. Like, she can lay eggs that yeah. can basically here's, pull out anything. The, just literally pulling it out of your ass. My, yeah. theory, my theory is that, like, they found her, but someone else created her. Yeah, that was that's what my I'm thinking. theory. I love the one where it's Eduardo's backstory, where it was uh, the cop. It was, it was the cop as a little girl who was getting bullied, and he was there to protect her, but he was also, but also a crybaby. But also, so she could learn to be brave. Yeah, I love that. It was so cute. And she was Hispanic. Yeah, Dude, she that, was hot. Yeah, Dude, remember that, cheese? That, cheese. I Go like faster. <laughs> Faster! You know what's funny? Oh my god, when I was like, when he's there, when they're like trying to sneak around Max's apartment, he just sucks in his head. <laughs> to his neck. When I was when I was a kid, I did not like cheese. He was a little bit annoying, but I, I kind of did like. I, kinda I got used to him. Yeah. <laughs> when it's like faster, yay! <laughs> and it's like they're just like barely like dragging. And then when it it smash cuts to it's night. <laughs> you know who I remember. The black girl. Goo goo. Yeah, I was just about to bring See, her up. With the like, eyes? I didn't no. like... She was the girl with the braids and the yellow Who boots. Who had the big imagination. She, she was just dangerous. imagined like so know. many friends constantly. Yeah, and so uh, there was a point where like, you can't she, think of anything because we're overcrowded. I don't remember that. Look up Coco, uh, not Coco, but Goo Goo from. Like, um, right, she has like a. She her has name like, was Goo Goo Gaga because that was like the only her, words as a baby she. What's your name, Mac? That's what you said as a kid? That's weird. <laughs> Oh my, it was like one of the first times I was like, I first experienced anti-humor is Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends because in the Cheese episode, there's like, oh, Blue, so you're going to hang out with Cheese, so that makes you, oh, and no, then Madame Foster walks in, Blue Cheese, <laughs> <laughs> I love- then, 
Mac, you have to take care of cheese. You'll just be like mac and cheese. <laughs> like she are like grunts. <laughs> Remember the meme episode where they turned Mr. Harriman into a meme? That that show, like that episode oh, is so yes. That show <laughs> predated our obsession with meme culture. Okay, this Foster's home was genius. This is gonna be stretched because I don't think any of you guys remember. Remember on CartoonNetwork.com, there was a cheese-oriented game. Yes. Where the whole like you had to use 3D goggles. Like, oh no! It was like a th- you could I you could toggle know. it on, and you had to have like the blue and red 3D goggles to really see it. But there was Which an no option to turn it, it off. It's like very few people make it anymore. They I have some. Ma- they mostly make the green and red ones. They yeah. don't Make the blue and red. I have blue and red. Blue and red. Wait, and red. so what was it about? They come. They it was just like my- the game was just about like cheese on like an automatic scroller and you just have to move around and pick up pieces of cheese and rabbits. See, that, that's I played that. I played there that. I remember that. Yeah. That's the only game I actually like. <laughs> there was one game where it was just like the go-kart one where Mac and Blue are pulling them and if you you had to hold the button to get them to like hold it slowly and if you let go ah! I feel like every Cartoon Network every Cartoon Network show the old ones that we love can be a whole episode because I'm, I'm thinking about like again Fosters, that's Craig McCracken. You know what? He, you know what else he did? Powerpuff Girls. We could have a whole episode about Powerpuff Girls. I mean, you know, we mentioned getting Tartakovsky like earlier. Like, we didn't touch on Dexter's Lab, Samurai Jack. Oh, I never seen Samurai Jack. I've oh never seen Samurai. I saw Jack parts either. of it every now and then. Yeah, Samurai was Jack good. was like one of the few shows on Cartoon Network that my dad or any one of the adults my favorite would watch because it was nothing. Like anything else, mm. except my dad did like Dexter's Laboratory. I I always skip Samurai Jack because again, I already told you about this. It's not a comedy. I don't want to watch it. Remember <laughs> the episode of Dexter's Lab where uh where Dexter gets a Russian prostitute? I mean, I think we're kinda, no. I think we're it's like, like running low on time, but I think we'll 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 finish out by talking about Dexter's Lab. What makes you say that? But um, it's getting dark out. But real quick, what uh, about on the computer? I'm just guessing. But uh, but what Dexter's whole. Lab was is that like. Dexter was so la- like tired of having Dee Dee as an assistant that she gets someone else. So she he gets a Russian lookalike of her, and he's like, "I want you to do something for me. What is it? Dance, okay?" And she like dances. She's like, "He's like more. All right, that'll be fifty fifty bucks extra." <laughs> it's like a mail order bride kind of. Yeah. <gasps> Remember the relationship between the monkey and the, the girl, the, the, the sidekick, oh whatever. My yeah. God, fucking monkey. Oh my I was so God. jealous of that guy. It's wait, like he, the monkey also fucked the duck. What? Yeah, like there was an episode where like there. Okay, so there was monkey. Yeah. yeah. But there was also like quack or whatever. Like it was a duck who was like like monkey. But I remember what you're talking about. They have a fight. Which this was weird. In one version, monkey beats the duck, and in another version, the duck beats monkey. But then they like take mercy on each other, and then they like make out, and it's like they fucked. But is the duck mm. a female? Yeah. Hey. I mean, hey, I mean, I mean oh, monkey, monkey duck. Maybe monkey but for sure, there was a relationship between the monkey and that other yeah. chick. Like, oh, monkey, the... I love you. I mean, speaking of monkey, I mean, he's in an adaptation of my favorite comic book story, like from Dexter's Lab. They they ad- they adapt the champion of the universe challenging all the Marvel superheroes to a fight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. I remember That's this. What, it was Macho Man as the guy. I am Rasslor, brother. Remember when they had the, the Major Glory in, like, the, the League of Awesome or something, and they had that Powerpuff, like, crossover where they're like, girls can't be superheroes. Like, who goes home and does the dishes? Professor, who washes the car. Professor, who goes to who, who goes to work. Professor, but we take him. <laughs> <laughs> well, like one of the things that stuck with me was in during that episode uh, was when like, it was like Major Glory's turn to like face like the wrestler, and it was it was, he just went on and on about like you cannot beat me, for I have the strength of America. <laughs> I I carry the pride of America. It is he kept on going on about America, and then just the rest just like decked him and won. <laughs> <laughs> But then, like, Monkey, like, he did the whole thing where he's, like, broken bones, but he was still trying to, like, fight, like, well, you cannot break your bones. I can break your body, but I cannot break your spirit. No, no. Remember when they had a college episode of Dexter where he went to college? It was, like, during the later time. And he couldn't deal with it? Like, everyone was partying while he was studying because it was, like, a break. 
And so as soon as the break was over, everyone went back to studying. But that's when Dexter was done and he wanted to party and everyone gave him so much shit that I think he got kicked out of school <laughs> for it. This is something that people don't really remember about Dexter's lab, but there was a, a TV movie where Dexter and Mandar traveled through different time periods. Like, and they met their future selves. Like, I'm sorry, what? I remember yeah. that. I don't. I vaguely remember it. I don't yeah, at I all. I never yeah, something it's, They didn't play it a lot. They only played it once to my memory, but it was called, I think it was like Dexter Out of Time or something. But Dexter and Mandar, they go to the near future where they're adults, and Dexter is this bald, muscular, like, scientist hero and Mandark is like the Baron Harkonnen from Dune I think and like, he's like this. really fat and he has to be like on a harness and then like old age Dexter is like old man Dexter that you see in other episodes and then like Mandark is a brain in a jar the Powerpuff Girls movie I've never seen it because we're talking about cartoons and it's weird because they show that a lot yeah they did show that, that a lot that was like one of the main things in rotation whenever they was that the, the only theatrical Cartoon Network movie that came out yeah I I believe so because yeah. I think what they wanted the, Nickelodeon and but the tried thing that what well, fucked up what well, fucked up Cartoon Network was the controversy with Powerpuff Girls the movie. What was the controversy? Yeah, what was that? Uh, the movie came out like right after nine eleven. Oh yeah, and that's Wait, when what movie? Oh, the Powerpuff and that Girls. Has nothing but like buildings, buildings being, being destroyed, destroyed, people being like. No joke. I think someone actually gets murdered in that. In that, they don't get the, murdered, but the, it's just like they do make it a point to show that the power girls are very destructive. And the thing is, I think that's why Which maybe is unfair. That it's was unfair. their only attempt because they're like after because it was, it was just released at a. It's an unfair criticism because like a movie like that, you cannot go back and read. It's not like Lilo and Stitch to where like they fix the climax like after nine eleven. You can't do that to a 2D animated movie that's already mostly done. Oh, yeah, it did switch the climax. But the thing is, um, it used to be in Lilo and Stitch, they were piloting an actual, like, airplane, pl- airplane into a crowded city, but in, they changed it to mount, like, weird-looking Mount- mountains mm, yeah. in a spaceship. I remember, uh, I love the reveal in the Powerpuff Girls movie where essentially Mojo Jojo... Um, uh, oh, uh, Rodolfo is currently showing pictures of a uh, what is it called? Like what's it's the, like ego trip or something. Never seen like that. Yeah, Dexter's Lab ego trip. But um, the one I like was the the reveal in the Powerpuff Girls movie, where essentially Mojo Jojo created like helped create the Powerpuff Girls by knocking Professor Utonium into the Chemical X. I like that. Wait, so the movie is it, the movie's canon, right? Yeah. yeah, the movie's canon. So Professor X did create Mojo Jojo. He yeah. didn't create Mojo Jojo. <laughs> Professor Utonium had Mojo Jojo as like a, a scientific monkey, as like a helper. But one day, like I, they he experimented on Mojo Jojo to like give him superhuman like he, and intelligence, he, and he got too intelligent for his own good. He got he, too intelligent and started realizing what's going on, and he went insane. So he started attacking the professor. And then, like, he knocked Professor Utonium into the Chemical X, into the batch of the Powerpuff Girls, and that the Chemical X. Uh, also went on to Mojo Jojo's brain, which made it more that's like... That's why it's like... Noticeable. It's like, more giant, and that's why he has the helmet. He created the helmet to hide by it. By the way, Mojo Jojo's design, like all the villains in... I mean, Power Girls, great villains. Him, who is legitimately terrifying in some episodes. The way he talks. Mm. The gangrene gang. I love the gangrene gang. Arturo, yeah. the, amoeba, the amoeba guys. Arturo has a knife. That's not my pocket oh, call. I fucking love that. He's like pulling it out. I was like, dude, <laughs> he's a knife. No, he's not. That's just a comb. pocket call. <laughs> no, but the thing is, back to the movie. I never seen the movie. Is it good? It's a beautiful it's movie. Good. It's There's really a moment cool. I think where uh, Blossom Bubble Cup and uh, uh, Bubble Cup, <laughs> Bubble Cup. No. Buttercup Bubbles and Blossom they, did the, they ex- did the fusion dance. They uh, they like everyone exiles them to the moon, and Buttercup is just bitching about everything that it's so unfair and. And blo- like bubbles goes off on her, like yeah, and, like like blossom is just like just doing walking. nothing. And so it's like you have no place to complain that they're being mad that we destroyed the city because we could have had better control. None of this would have happened if we would have just controlled. Man and, of steel. And blossom starts tearing up. Buttercup is like, I hate you guys. I'm done with you. I want to do my own thing. And they all sit on the moon for like Uh-oh, five minutes ends. of silence. And reflecting on the on the earth that's getting taken over by monkeys. But the thing is, um, 
in the in the movie, the, does it show like when JoJo and Professor having like a good relationship? Like, yeah, yeah. It, sh- it shows it. I think mid to to near the end because that that's when it shows when the origins was. Mm-hmm. One line of that I always remember from the movie is um, when the mayor like first gets introduced. Like after they destroy the city, uh, like fighting the monster, he's like. Arsonous destruction, like he's holding up damaged pickles because he <laughs> loves pickles. Like, get them out of here. You know, what was a sad episode. What when they had a sister? <gasps> oh, she like, killed funny. herself. She, funny. she or like funny. sacrificed herself. Yeah, in the mech like, that they like, had, oh. and she's like fucked up. Yeah, she's yeah. Like, she was like the whole story was that like they wanted to make their own sister, but they they added too much of something or they messed up, so they well, no, had like. Because a part like a former friend of the professor came like hey I can make you a sister but he like he didn't do it right yeah and so she had like a super big hunched back purple like, I, saw, I remember that she was, like, but deformed, the thing basically. is why would they yeah. want another sister they have they have two like I mean, they, they probably got tired of each other like, yeah, yeah either they got sort of like the point was like that was the lesson where they were like I'm sick of these people but then they like learned to like appreciate what they had and then like i think the whole episode was just like bunny was messing up on basic things but at the end where they need to eject and they had they need one person to pilot the mech she's like no bunny can help and so she ejects the powerpuff girls and then the mech explodes no oh god but yeah yeah i remember but also in that episode there are also a hundreds of other like clones of the powerpuff girls made by that uh, oh there's a boy group the boy group the rowdy rough gang no those are the rowdy rough boys but these ones are like fucked up, like they're <gasps> poorly made. I know those like, also like die. Like those are hundreds and hundreds of like power girl clones, and they all die. Yeah, I think wasn't it during the same episode with Bunny? Yeah, because like cause one had the like point. there was one eye that had like two pupils in it, and they're like freaking out. They're like, we want to be friends, and they're like climbing like, all they, over they the mech. Like cartoonish, like incest babies. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, like when you would like. Like when you see like incest taken to like its most yeah. extreme, like these are what these people. It's look like, like it's like an incest version of like Cronenberg monsters. Yeah. Hey Cronenberg Morty, we're hearing Cronenberg Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, I've seen it. I, I okay. I've seen like one. I've seen like the. I haven't seen it, but I've seen like the first like two episodes. I'm gonna show you Rick and Morty out of it entirely. But the thing is, what, the thing about Powerpuff Girls is like. You go back, that show was really violent, and the violence in that show would not fly today. One episode in particular is when Buttercup won't take a bath, and she is extra violent in how she kills monsters. <coughs> she, like, goes into one's stomach, like, into its body through its stomach, and then pops out its eye, and then she's covered in, like, body juices. Th- that show, like, that's not, that won't fly today. It, would, it wouldn't. And... I'm I'm okay with like not showing violence to kids at young age. I just don't. But like, I would much rather show my kid like violent cartoons than a cartoon that will make them dumb. Oh my god! I remember this line. This one, my mom told I me. I don't want them. I don't want to show them pansy ass shit. Will always. <laughs> this will always stay in my mind, and I'm like. She's like, you got you stop watching that stupid cartoon SpongeBob. Watch a good cartoon that's not violent, like Tom and Jerry. I was like, oh, oh, oh. oh. speaking Jerry of that, hilarious. Speaking of Tom and Jerry, I think we could make this a three part because I'm still like super pumped to All do right, this. But like, we gotta, we gotta take a, break. we gotta cut this off right now. This is gonna yeah. be a three part epic, maybe four part epic. If- and I think be, this should be a three part because we're coming up on episode 10, which will be the season finale of season one of Don't Take It Out of Context. The last one episode. of us will die. The last episode. God, <laughs> let it be us, me. <laughs> join us next time on a very special episode make of sure, Don't Take It Out of Context. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends about comment our nostalgia. Comment who, which one of us you think is going to die. Also, you know, only 90 kids remember this. So. <laughs> <laughs> but see y'all later. See you later. Have fun. Bye, Bye-bye. sweetie. Fuck you.